What's happening, everybody? I'm Grillmaster. Welcome back to Grilled in the Dark and Lust for and Beyond. Uh, so we're. Why is there a picture of the doctor huh. here? I wonder what else I don't know about him. Yeah, it seems weird that there's a picture of the doctor here. Like in the middle of the. Alright. Stranger. Uh, yeah, that's normal. How can I help you, sir? Um. I'm here on behalf of Dr. Austerlitz. He said there was a room ready for me. Oh, right. You must be Mr. Victor Holloway. Please forgive me. Here's your key. You'll be in the room 207. Have a pleasant stay. Thank you. Good night. All right. Take that. Unfortunately, our lighting system is on the fritz, so we have to use more traditional methods for now. Please, take the lamp with you. An oil lamp? Huh. You think a better invention would exist? Something from the last century, at least. Well, there are flashlights. Oh, you don't say. Okay. Uh, use F. All right, now I got a, I got a lantern. God, uh, that's normal. And you got a broken plate over here, man. Like this thing, this, this, this. I need to call Lily. She must be worried sick. Uh. Hello. Hello, is this the dry cleaners? Uh, no. Well, oh, that's too bad, because I'm having some dirty thoughts. Victor, you jerk! I was so worried about you! Tell me what's going on! Uh, didn't meet the doctor. Do you know anything more about this guy? Uh, how are you doing? Do you know anything more about this guy, Austerlitz? I have an unsettling feeling about him. What do you mean, babe? I don't know. It's like he cares too much. There's an intensity about him. Lily? Oh, that's so much like you. Someone's being kind, and you're just looking for some hidden meaning. That's not it. There's more to him. Is there, is there anything else you know? Tim didn't tell me anything else, but I remember how it was. He didn't come to the rehearsals. He was looking at foot photos on his phone all day long. <laughs> what? You know. Listen, the most important thing is that he's changed. And you can too. We're talking about Tim. And we're supposed to be talking about Dr. Austerlitz. I, I really don't know what to tell you. I searched online about him, and apart from the drama concerning his unorthodox methods... I could only find out that he's the grandson of Doreen Austerlitz. Apparently she's some well-known professor. A professor of psychology and philosophy. Yeah, I know. I've read a few conspiracy theories about her. Parapsychology, esotericism, occultism. But what do we care about his late grandmother? How do you know about all this? Did you read about Austerlitz before leaving? I found fuck all. I'm still looking for solid <coughs> info. I'm sorry, I don't know anything else. You're getting too worked up about this. Everything's okay, right? Uh, how are you doing? And how are you doing? At rehearsal, Steve was a bit out of tempo, but you know him. A lousy bass player. Well, that's new. Since he's in the band already, it would be harsh to just let him go. You like that Steve guy, don't you? You're so dumb. But maybe I should consider him as an option. Maybe he wouldn't beat me. Hey, stop joking around about that. I'm serious. All right, well, sorry for trying to lighten up the mood. Let's get back to what's going on with you. Yeah, that was... Mm, I feel like that's too soon. Uh, I couldn't meet with the doctor tonight. We had to reschedule for tomorrow morning. What happened? No, oh, never mind. I just want you to still think of me as a capable man. Or at least one that remembers to charge his phone before he drives out of town. <laughs> Where are you now? It says hotel at the door, but inside it looks like a dust museum run by cockroaches. 
People love it. The whole place is booked. But the good doctor got me a room. That's nice of him. How do you like the town? It's fantastic. Festive crowds in the streets, giving out high fives and beer. <laughs> and there's a ton of beautiful half-naked ladies on stilts all over me. Victor, I've been with you long enough to know that when you try to joke around like this, that means you're scared of something. What's really happening? If I tell you what's happened, it doesn't seem like anything really, but something's off. Bleakmore gives me the creeps. You're not there for the holiday. Just do what you gotta do and come back home. You're right. Maybe. Seems like you're keeping things to yourself. Um, I mean, really, the, <laughs> the topless lady on stilts is... I, I feel like if you said something like that, she'd be like, Oh, that's not normal. I mean, maybe it is. I don't know. I'm exhausted. I'll call you tomorrow, I feel like okay? It's not. I spent way too much time wandering around this town. I'm just calling to let you know that the meeting was postponed, and, uh... And that I'm still having major doubts about the whole thing. What? We talked on the phone earlier. He's a weird guy. He sounded like he would do anything to meet me. Victor, you're exaggerating a lot. Maybe, or maybe it's intuition. You're really not gonna go, are you? I, I thought you were doing this for us. I know, Lily. I know, I have to sort this out, but this might not be the way to do it. Oh, fuck. I don't know. I don't know anything anymore. Look, I'll make my decision later. I'm not in the right headspace for it now. But if I get up in the morning and leave this fucking town, don't hold it against me, please. Come on, say something. What should I tell you? I can't force you to do anything. And I love you for that. Okay, I should get to sleep now. Wait, one more thing. Oh, sounds serious. Let me guess. We should just be friends? Tell oh, real funny. No, I, I just wanted to say, be brave. And I love you a lot. Sleep well, Victor. Good night, love. Okay, this thing up here is, can I grab this thing? It's creeping me out. What are you? What is this? Missing arms? What the freak, man? Alright. The whole time and things just staring at me like, uh, yeah. I would have, like, legit turned my back to that thing. Oh. That settles me. I assume I can't open up any of these doors, yeah. Keep my lantern out. Yeah, here we go. You just you just get a lantern to like walk it around to your room and everything. That seems like a normal thing. Uh, no. Oh, 101. So wait, does every room have one of those? Nope, but that this place one's gonna be looks important like later. A historical bit. reconstruction of a hotel from the mid 20th century. Huh. Actually, it's more like a reconstruction of a dump. Yeah. It's just like broken stuff everywhere. Big Doc is watching me. Yeah, why is like one picture is one thing, but now he's in the hallways too. <laughs> Anybody in there? Anybody in there? Big Doc is still watching me. <laughs> okay. I know I have to go up higher, but. There's some like weird humming sound going on. All right, all right. Your room is on the top floor. I'm sure you can find it. Okay, creepy dude. It's like, all right, that was pretty cool. I mean, it's like a good unsettling feeling. Do a four. No, grab the thing. Open. I can't open it. Don't let me. Yeah, that one just doesn't open. Danny, bring us a 10 foot rope, four cliffs, two bananas, 10 chocolate bars, and a jar. Okay. Wait, what? Alright. 203. I'll find it eventually. It's gotta be down there. I haven't tried the doors. Big Doc is watching me relentlessly. Alright. 
There are more pictures of him? Fire thing. Five star hotel. Yeah, if you're a cockroach. Alright, there's things happening in like every one of these rooms. Did I just break a plate? Oops. It's all good. Nothing in there. Okay, 207. It worked. All right. I actually kind of like all the dust and old stuff, but this is too much, even for me. Oh, I'm, I'm straight tired. That. Glad there's an alarm clock. Big Doc will be watching me even while I sleep. Great. It's an alarm clock? The door's not even connected. Alcohol. Uh, allowed, please. <laughs> okay. Uh, anything else? Nothing in here? At least, like, look around the room first. Alright. Set alarm. Uh, Guess we're going to bed. Six. Should be five. That is an old school looking alarm clock. Holy crap. I've never actually seen an alarm clock with that on, like, the top of it. That didn't sound good. It's still dark, clearly. Huh? The hell was that? What's up, dude? That humming sound again. What? You're not asleep, sir? <sighs> Do I look asleep to you? Oh, apologies. You must have been woken up by the noises. The people of Bleakmoor are quite loud during the festival. Some do no self-restraint. Ah, uh, that's all right. I was just a little spooked. Everything is all right. You can go back to bed. One, two, the red hunt you. Why do you keep talking about that? Are there like the red people are gonna like the people in like the red outfit things gonna come out to me? I mean, I heard that loud. It's gotta be like right below, right? No. Some. I'm, oh, I'm literally supposed to get some sleep in my hotel room. Okay. Keep forgetting the if when it pops up, pops up. Completed. Not what the next mission is. Alright, I'm just gonna go back to bed, I guess. Not weird at all. Like, you keep sweeping, man. You're doing a terrible job. I should lock the door. This town is full of weirdos. That's what I did already. I'm going back to bed. If someone wakes me up again, I... I won't do anything either. <laughs> Alright. Oh, we're good. Close the door. <gasps> what? Why are we here now? All we did was go to bed. Oh, wait. No. Is this the... I feel like this is like similar to the preview. Or the prologue, I mean. Okay. I mean, do I want to take this thing? I don't know what it's. I don't know what's on there, but uh, yeah, we're just gonna put that down, I guess. Yeah, I feel like this is part of like the prologue, right? Oh, is this the stair thing? Oh my god, it's so loud! It's like louder than everything else. Submit to the voice of love, uh, Barak, the lustful god. Then with the streams of Akmal's essence, touch the ideas realized by Oh Grok. I can't say any of those. I've slaughtered every single one of them. All right. Something growling. Dude, this is what happened when the scary thing showed up. All right, just people stuck inside here. Or things stuck inside here. 
Do I have my? I don't have my torch. All right. Yeah. See, it's this thing again. Why am I going back in here? I don't. Uh, it's just, it's just bad things gonna happen. What's it? it I guess I'm just gonna keep running. Oh! Hello? You are weird looking. Okay. I guess we just go around. What? Did I miss something here? Wait. Wait a second. Hmm, I should be around already. Yeah, that seems weird. Anything in here? <laughs> that was very strange. Oh, there's a thing happening. Come with us. You'll be safe. Come on. Take her the way you love to. Um, all right, there's probably going to be a blurry screen. i almost 100% sure there's a blurry screen right now. Okay, we're just going to cut almost that entire part out. Fantastic. That was not... You don't even know how fantastic you really were. Yeah, that was... That's a quick time event of a thing that happened. So we just tricked into, like... Okay, oh my god, what the frick? What is happening right now? Oh, okay, that was, uh, that was a whole thing that just happened right now. <laughs> is this still nighttime? Ew. Can I go somewhere? Oh my god. Okay. Shadow over the blood more. Got to escape through the lobby. Like more. Fuck. What did I get myself into? Okay. Oh, he's in there. Okay. Oh, what happened to this dude? Save yourself. It's too late for me. Okay. Sounds like there's somebody like right there. It's straight below me. You're a nosy little twat, huh? We'll fix that. Who? Who are you talking to? Oh no. Is that the guy that was like laying down? What's this? It seems like room 101 is the only way out. <sighs> I just need to do something about the fucking padlock first. Okay. Is there a key somewhere? Oh, that seems like something I don't want to do. 108. Can I hide? Am I hidden? Excellent night for a cocktail of fucking and killing. Uh, I don't have pills to make me less crazy, because right now I am like shaking like in, like a mad. Okay. Dude's just hanging out down here, man. What am I supposed to do here? Can I kill the lights? Oh, okay. Alright, room 108, which is, of course, where the dude just went. He just went up to the first floor. Oh god.
All right, up we go. This got terrifying. One oh eight, of course, is down there. I don't see anybody. I'm just like creeping around on the ground. Okay, 108 is this last one in the corner, of course. Alright, use. Still have the other key on me. There's no way to lock it. Can I hide? What? This is, uh. Right? Anything here? Oh! That's a dead lady. Let's not look at her because apparently it makes us go crazy. Okay, so that's one of those arms. And a bandage? Alright. So I got one arm for that creepy thing, I guess. Oh, wait. Good. This will cut through the padlock. I figured I missed something. My tools in room 108. Hey. We good? Alright, alright, alright. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can I go downstairs? Safely? I, I gotta I gotta put this arm on. Hit yeah. you, you. Uh oop. Okay. Still missing an arm though. All right. Oh man. I feel like that's not a good thing. Don't mind me stepping on this broken glass. Uh. Okay. Okay. Escape through room 101. I have the bolt cutters. So I just need to get back up there again. Just wanted to put the arm on and see what would happen, and nothing happened. Because I need two arms. I have no idea where the other arm is. Okay, 101. Bolt cutters. Alright, get to the streets of Bleakmore. <clears throat> okay. Take that. Uh, 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 uh. Open. This way? Holy freaking loud. You out here? Oh, this is, this is good. This is good. Uh... Oh. Hi. All right, tip likes number six. Quick time event, stopping me. Holy crap. I legit have no idea what they want me to do. I've pushed every button. Every button. I've tapped, I've held. I, I don't understand. I'm pretty sure this is left mouse button. Okay, see, in that time, that's the first time it's worked. That's literally six times I've tried that. Okay, nope. We're going this way. Me? Me alone. So, now, now, it, what, could we go any slower? We are your pain, all right. Oh my God, this is slowest climbing of a ladder ever. There's a bad things on the wall. Oh dear God, these people are insane. Down here. I'm just bobbing and weaving. Huh? Huh? Oh, girls oh, just want to have fun. No, 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 no. All right. This was the plan. This is why he didn't want me to leave. Oh God! Ow! I was gonna turn. I was gonna close the door. I'm gonna close the door. Uh. Jesus! They're everywhere. Oh God. Oh, ow, where'd he... The difficulty style of this amp up was 
freaking intense in the volume too, holy crap. Ow, dude, come on. Like, I'm literally the slowest climber in the world. I could have climbed this thing. So much faster than that. All right, out my way. Over here. Go this way. We go through here. Oh, girls just want to have fun. Yeah, yeah, and I just kind of want to survive, so I'm going to keep on running. This time, keep on running through this door. All right, all right. And I think I just keep running forward. I'm assuming I'm going off this. I'm trusting that I'm going to land on this thing. There we go. Uh. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. All just kind of hanging out up there. What am I supposed to do now? Down to here? Okay. Hello? Can I close this? Alright. Let's not be as insane as we were. Let's heal ourselves up. Alright. I'm gonna turn that back off. It's so windy. Those are feet. Oh god, somebody's being like murdered above me. Does it say? Do I can I use this? Oh I can. Alright. Sure, more band-aids. Seriously, somebody's being like murdered up there. Right, what is this? Just the door to nowhere. Okay, I'll leave this thing on for right now. The lock on there. Oh god, that freaked me out. Can I take you down? Nope. Nope! Back to running again. <laughs> All right. Feel like I may have made a bad decision. Uh, where am I going now? Door's locked. Oh. Oh. All right, I'm fine. It hurt a tiny bit. Okay. I don't think he's chasing me. Oh, he is still up there, and then somebody else just jumped down. Ah, where am I going now? This sucks! Oh, I missed. Okay, where am I going? What, what? Oh, I'm here again. Oh, I'm here again. Okay, this is before I took all the pills and everything. Uh, use. And use. A little less screen shake. And get some more band-aids real quick. I'm, I'm assuming I just basically go up there and just run past him, basically. There's so many others that popped out. It's got to be like a chase thing. Peace. Alright, alright, alright. We just go out the door. And then this way? Yeah, down here so I don't hurt myself. Alright. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Okay, so where up here? I guess over here. Ooh. Oh, okay. Get it together, Victor. You're going to survive this and go back home. You're going to survive this and go back home. All right, let's get regain some sanity. More band-aids. Are we gonna keep running, or are we gonna actually? I need to find a weapon before I leave. This city is fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, there's a weapon on the floor right I here. I hope I don't need to use it, but I'd rather be prepared than dead. Pull out. 
I know there was like two ways you could do one of the things. It was like you could go through by like being peaceful, or you could go through and just start murdering. Huh. Everyone's in the theater tonight. I'll find help there. The fact that I feel like theater from uh, <laughs> uh, previous versions is not a good place. Hey, wait, more clowns. I only needed three more. Can I find the last three now? There's going to be people all over town now. Okay. I don't want to fight if I don't have to. Oh. Okay, it's the lady with the tall legs. It's like right there. And I don't even know how I'd fight her. Right. Oh, there's nothing even over here. Are you coming back? I hope so. Oh, she heard me. That actually worked for me. Oh, no. That doesn't work for me. Lock doors. Okay. They are really on the prowl. Alright, alright. Nope. Where am I supposed to go? Get to the theater? Where's the theater? Clearly not over here. Weird, like, sounds coming from inside there. Alright, well, I'm gonna put this in here. We are too shy, and then we get whatever's inside there. A whole bunch of bottles of booze? Wait, is that Molotov cocktails? Is that what that's gonna be? I have no clue. I don't see anybody here right now. Oh, that's gross. Uh, theater, theater, theater. Not a hundred percent sure. Is it over? Is it right there? I don't see anybody over here. Oh, that's creepy. Oh God, what? What was that about? Okay, so that's... That's the bar. We went in there already. Where's the theater at? I must have passed it. I feel like it's gotta be this open place. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. Going back here for a second. There's his place. This way is open? This way is open. Yeah, this is the way to the theater. I thought I remember seeing the sign. Oh, I thought there's somebody there. Yeah, I say it's gonna I just wanted to get the little icon and make sure that was a thing. Alright. Hey wait, I got this now. Ooh, I like this. It actually keeps the torch behind the knife. Alright. Wait. What? This is theater. No, it's not the theater. Now I'm super confused. So I gotta get it. I gotta get but, 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 but. Wait, wait. I got an idea. Can I just use this? Ha! Ah. Let me turn that light back off. Ooh, I knew there'd be somebody over there. Hey, creepy crawly mode again. Stay off the goo. Alright. 
prefer to avoid confrontation. If I could be sneaky sneaky, I'm 100% behind that. So far, so good. I'm also trying to see if I could find any of those, uh... Oh god! This scared the crap out of me! Oh, there's two of them. Oh, I'm gonna die. This isn't good. <laughs> how do I, how do I? Oh god, oh yeah, there's no way. Okay, so we're back here. Uh, they're right there. Look at me. Now I know that they definitely will turn around at some point. Oh god, he's turning around right now. Ow! How do you see me? I'm perfectly hidden behind the slits with the giant gap in the middle. Is it just this guy? I don't know, maybe I can Oh my god, I actually killed him. I killed him. I killed a man. Well, I didn't want to necessarily have to do it, but he left me no choice. What am I supposed to? <laughs> I, I honestly, I don't I don't know what else I was supposed to do. If you didn't see me be one thing, but I guess since we're on this route, you know what? We're on this route. It's already taking place. Can't I take you down? Oh man, you're like one of those people in that beginning little thing. You had so many scars on your back. Ow! 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 I thought you'd be dead. I thought I was gonna win. I did win. Oh, am I losing sanity every time I'm doing it? I think I am. <laughs> Alright. Well, now I can explore all I want. I'm tired of getting killed by you. You detect me. Not just you, I guess. It's every one of them. So many of them. Alright. Is there more? Can I put this away? Oh, my hands. I still have blood on my hands. Alright, so it's just basically, it's gonna stay that way then. I've done it. I was trying to be sneaky, but... I'll take you out if I have to. I wanna find more clowns, man. And more pills to make me less crazy, because I've gone completely insane. Like, everything is super wobble right now. What am I gonna do if I get into a point that I can't, like... I always go insane every time I, I see it or something. And I'm just straight up doomed. I didn't expect to actually be able to come over here. Come on, clowns. There's two more of you. I have no idea where they are. I don't know what you get for it, but probably get an achievement or something. All right. Guess into here we go. Hmm. I don't know what's in here. Oh, and this is Scarlet. This is where this uh, this from Beyond Scarlet took place. In here. Where the hell is everyone? Happening there. I think that was like that was, yeah, prequel type of thing. Uh, anything here? I think we're good. I hope we're good. Yeah, he expected to come here and find a bunch of people. I expected to come come here and find exactly what I found. Just absolutely nothing. Alright, just random choker. Brothers and sisters of the Scarlet Lodge, let me remind you that according to the tradition of the summer solstice, you have the right to enter any house in front which candles are placed. By doing so, the people of Bleakmore agree to participate in all of uh, our practices. However, please do not let so many people die this time. I would also like to stay ready. I have organized a few seeing ones, and I will need some help. Okay. I think we're the seeing one. I, I, like, I'm a seeing one, right? Why did I just take this? happening wait wait did my dude just use it wait no 
I thought that was going to be an item. No, what? what's wrong with my feet? My guy keeps walking backwards and forwards. What is going on? I think I'm... I think I'm having these hallucinations they talk about talking about. This is not what I want right now. Oh, this is this is discombobulating. Is there a box or something over here? Hey, there we go. Nope, nope, nope. I thought we were back to normal. Uh use. Please be pills, no pills. Death after death? Side story unlocked? There's side stories? This is the second anniversary of my father's death in which you've left me alone after all. Las... Lasaya? It's important to you, no? Perhaps you would have taken my suffering more seriously. Your own old man hadn't been appalling and despicable. It's laughable. You talk so much about him and there's beginning to be a spitting image of him. Hush, I know what you will say. You didn't know him like I did. Blah, blah, blah. Maybe not... But I heard that I, what I heard, and I know that when Doreen got divorced by cancer, that your daddy generously came up with the idea that he was going to be in charge of everyone. Oh, and how Willard didn't like that, so your father ended how he ended it, the curtains closed on him. Now that Willard is gone, you're taking matters into your own hands and rehashing the same played-out story. And to say I'm the one with daddy issues, ha! Ah, think about it sometime or don't. I know you love me a little less after visiting Lush... Uh, but come and visit me sometime, old man. We'll talk like we used to. Alright. I don't know what that was for. Exactly. It just unlocked a side story, it said. What's this? Strong... So okay. I see. My mental my mental stuff, like, disappeared 100%. Okay, that's what's happening. Like, I'm literally walking the opposite way. Just... Not what I wanted. Yeah, this is where you come in at. Crawling through here. Hello? Hello? Forgot I had a light? Checking everywhere. Okay, let's, uh... Keep listening for sound in case there's anybody waiting for me here. Nope. Alright, into the theater we go. Nope, that's locked too. Alright then. Guess I gotta move this thing aside. Is there... I'm still listening for sounds. Alright, let me just let it go right here. Hello, piano. Can I do anything special with you? No, I can just play notes. I wonder if you... Why did that go off? What's that about? That was awful. Okay. Some sort of like noise sensor or what? No idea. All I know is that was it's not what I want. Alert everybody to where I am at. Okay. There's a thing back there. Uh, use this. Sweet. All right. Less crazy pills. And it's zero maximum amount of things it can hold. No, they stack. Okay, good. Uh, I don't see anything else in here. Gonna go off again? No? I don't know what that was about. That was weird. Just wanna put this away for a second. Nobody out here, right? Okay. Hello? <laughs> And who do we have here? Is that, uh, Mr. Victor Holloway? The one and only. What? What do you want? I can't hear you from over here. 
you'll need to speak up, darling. Or, actually, you could just shut that pretty mouth because nothing you say matters here. Help! Is anyone else here? Please, help me! Oh, Victor. I actually feel sorry for you, you know? Now focus, Victor. It's time to get to work. Dr. Austerlitz will be here soon, and we have to prepare for the show. No, 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 You're fucking crazy. This whole town has lost its shit. Do you ever shut the fuck up? <coughs> Please make some space on the stage. Move those trees apart and lower the cross. Our star actor needs to be presented properly. What are you talking about? If you keep slacking, I'll start counting down. And when the countdown comes to an end, well, you won't like it much, I reckon. You remember those guys in leather with the big, hard clubs? I bet they remember you. Why are you doing this to me? Why? Ugh, you bore me. Now get to work. Time is of the essence, Victor. <laughs> Alright, let me do it. Alright, move the trees. Oh, okay, I don't know what's happening on there, but that's gross. If I did that. Let's just take these things off the stage. All right. Yeah, I assume I just take them to there, right? Yes, you're doing great, but you only have a minute left, so don't blow it. Oh, you're like legitimately timing me here. All right. I'm I'm good, right? Pull for trees. Great. Such a capable man. It's a shame, really, if Austerlitz didn't have plans for you. I would have taken you under my wing. What's all this for? Let, let me talk to Dr. Austerlitz, please. We can work this out. I'm afraid the time for agreements has been long over. Now we must provide the right atmosphere for the stage. Light the candles and sensors and get the spotlight working. The actor must shine tonight. Actor? You're fucked up. Yeah. Remember, if you slack at all tonight, there'll be some well-equipped supporting actors that'll come into play. And they aren't as lovable as I am, that I can promise. So don't fuck around. Oh, and you'll need a key. Go beneath the balcony I'm standing on. Fred is sitting there. Fred is eyeing the key. I'm sure you'll see. It's in his eye. All right. Oh. Yeah, I took the key. Okay, so light the candles, light the sensors, start the spotlight. So I'm assuming this is stuff up here. I have to say, I'm actually really happy with the censoring in this. They did a really good job on it. Uh, <clears throat> what? Oh, lighter. That won't work. Two minutes remaining. That's not a lighter. What am I thinking? I can buy a. Uh, all right, whatever. Two minutes remaining. Are you serious? Uh, where's the, the, the spotlights up there? Is this spotlight? Is what you mean? You're in spotlight? Uh, you? Open? And I want to look around and stuff. Give me no time to move. Uh, creepy things here. Alright. Uh, what do we got? Just got a whole bunch of matches. I, can I just take the whole thing? Nope. Alright, there's more matches right here. Alright. Oh, okay, that's the thing that's happening there. Alright. 
Just keep going. Only one minute left. Dude, lady, you suck. All right. Spotlight's on. Spent so much time just trying to light the candles. Yeah, I'm going as fast as I can. Don't make me murder. Don't make me murder, because I will murder. Alright, 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 alright. Uh here we go. Half a minute till showtime. Oh my god. There's a leg on there. Okay. Victor Holloway is our hero. He's coped with everything that's been thrown his way. Proving that he is a capable man that women everywhere shall worship. This is not good. This is not good. <laughs> oh, I believe our actor's 15 minutes of fame has expired. Take him off the cross piece by piece. Every man and every woman is a star. And now it's your turn to become one. What? Afterwards, go backstage through the curtain. There, you'll find a bin. Hurry now. The clock is tick, tick, ticking away. <laughs> huh. Okay. I don't want to pick this up. The bulky to carry what? Only carry one at a time? Well, I mean, where, where, where am I supposed to put these? Uh, if you don't come up with something, my body parts will be pulled off the cross. Put the body parts in the bin in the back room. No, oh, back here. I gotta carry one at a time. You mean? Are you timing me again? Is it just gonna be a bunch of bodies? Ew. I don't want to put it in there if that's what you're gonna call it. Gross. A man that could carry a body with such ease. Gross. <sighs> Gross. This is this is worse than Scarlet in a sense. I feel on some nast on the nastiness. Like this is pretty freaking nasty. Stop, lady. No, no more of that. No. Nope. <laughs> she just keeps going. It's just, I don't even know what this is what I'm looking at here. Okay, one last piece. It's gotta get the other arm off. I don't want to be up here though. It's not gonna go well. I'm not gonna put the other arm in there yet. What the, what else is back here? I don't want to go in there either. This seems suspicious. You are your pain. Ah! Uh, open up anything? I don't have a jump, so there's that. All right, gross. Oh. Oopsie. This is my chance. I gotta get the fuck out of here. Victor. Victor, where are you going? I don't want to give out any spoilers, but you're not going towards a happy end. Okay. Well, I don't feel like where you were taking me was a happy end. I'd say that for certainty. Oh no. Oh no. That's, this does not seem like a happy end at all. No. I can't, I can't function. Oh, I can't function. Oh no. I'm gonna go night night in the corner. I feel like, pretty sure. God, the loading times on this. We've wow. captured the seeing one, Mr. Oh, no. Victor Holloway. During the abduction, I had a chance to test his ability to carry out commands while under stress. I've waited for this moment for so long. He is exceptional. Truly I'm gonna, I'm gonna exceptional. Die. Okay, I can't a die. A lot of them were promising. Story. And you know how they ended. It's true. But we must remain optimistic as we follow the path of purification. 
Thank you, Rhea. You can go now. I'll deal with the seeing one personally. I don't like her. I remember from Scarlet, she's the one that's insane. Welcome, Victor! You finally made it. Bravo! As you've probably guessed by now, I am Dr. Charles Austerlitz, and this is my devout pack. And together we are known as the Scarlet Lodge. I do hope that no one was too harsh with you. Some of them tend to get carried away with their work. What the fuck do you want from me? <laughs> yeah, right. Oh dear, calm down. Nobody wants to hurt you. If you cooperate with us, you'll soon be cozied up in your dusty abode. And all in one piece, I assure you. But, for now, we need your help. I don't understand. Why me? I, I'm nobody. Natural selection bestows unique talents at random. Which comes with a bit of malice on her part. You are a seeing one. You are attuned to the energy of Lustka, the land of ecstasy. The visions that haunt you, they are more than meaningless dreams. Much, much more. You have an extraordinary gift that can serve as a bridge between the dimensions. What are you talking about? You're fucking insane. To some, I'm a madman. To others, I am their savior. Now enough chatter. Let's get down to business, Victor. In a moment, we will transport you to Lustka. Once there, you'll find an important item hidden nearby. It's a book called The Nature of Universes. Bring it back. It must return to the Austerlitz family. You kidnapped me to get you a fucking book? You're just a bunch of psychos! In a moment, you'll go through intensive stimulation and be transported <coughs> to Lustka. Then, you're tasked to find the book and return to the place you arrived. It's as simple as that. What do you mean by stimulation? I think I mean... Till <laughs> now, you found Lustka through sexual pleasure. Ah, ah. Look at me like that. I don't make the rules. I think this appointment is over, Doctor. How much do I owe you? I wonder if your jokes will still have punchlines once you feel the breath of the changed on your neck. Lustga is a world as real as ours. So remain cautious. If you die while there, then it's all over. Checkmate. Now, please, relax and open your mind to the energy of Lustka. I will help you. What? No! Leave me alone! Get away from me! Hello, little one. Daddy will take care no. of you. No! Charles only sucks off a few shows, and it's an honor seeing one. Don't no, return no. Without the book. You've been a long time, you lost uh, that was a thing that happened. All right. Well, I'm gonna leave it here for now. Uh yeah, I've been recording for over an hour already. Well, over an hour now. Holy crap. Uh the game is enjoyable. I, it's 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 freaking weird. It's so freaking weird. And I feel like they do the mix of things pretty well, and the censorship is actually done really well. Which makes me happy because I don't do as much insane editing. But there's still definitely some parts that are going to be cut. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to leave it here. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.